Hey guys, it's me Caroline coming to you from MC Beaters and I have another packaging video for how I package my items. I believe someone had commented in the last video that they wanted to get some more ideas on how I package. So I have three orders this morning and I'm going to show you just some of the stuff that I use in order to make my packaging pretty. So, um, let me begin with showing you like some of the stuff. So I use the Rafi, Rafia, Ra, I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I use this. Or I use ribbon. Or I use, and this is like Easter themed or spring themed because, you know, that's supposed to be coming shortly here in New York. <laughs> um, or I use the tool, which I love. And as I said, if you guys, it's Melissa eBay shipping i believe that was the name of her website okay i mean her uh, youtube channel so let me begin with this order they had ordered this um cold water creek necklace that i actually purchased from an online i don't know if it was thread up or if it was shopgoodwill.com i don't recall so here is this and um I have my little thank you package topper and I put these little thank you stickers but as I said before in my previous video I got 36 pairs of these earrings for a dollar so I paid less than three dollars oh I paid two dollars this time around for these 36 pairs of earrings and like I said I have the cards the earring cards and all the other the plastic self adhesive bags and I just put my thing my um business card on my thank you and I put this right underneath the bow. All right, so what I always do is I put the necklace in one of these self-adhesive bags because I wanna make sure that they are secure and it's not banging. I use poly mailers. I know I could always use those um, for my Poshmark, Poshmark sales. I could use the priority padded but I don't always send things priority for eBay because sometimes the priority is, is I think it's like $7, $7 and something. And sometimes it's more than the item that I'm selling. So to me, it just doesn't make sense. So I'll do like first class or US ground shipping um, because I sold this for $7 actually. So it doesn't make sense for me to charge someone priority because then they're paying $14 or, you know, to me doesn't make any sense then I put it into a plastic now yes this is a ginormous plastic bag but this is all that I have at this moment because most of my items are bigger than this but again it's just another source of keeping it protected and keep it there we go oh and guys I want to show you I have this bracelet on Marianne makes these, as everyone knows. Um, if you want to purchase one of them, just go to uh, her website, which um, she has it in one of these, or you can go to Marilyn1943 at uh, gmail.com, and I will let her know. But this she actually made for my father in remembrance of my dad. This is, his ashes are in these polymer clay beads that she makes. So she took some of the ashes and she mixed it in. So I always have the ashes. And then she put a set of wings and an Italian horn. And I wear this every day. I just don't, I don't get it wet because I'm not sure we could, but even if you, I don't want to get it wet. I want to make sure every little piece is there. So anyhow, super, what a wonderful way of, you know, if you have your loved one's ashes. Okay, then I have these. I bought a whole package of these. They were like $2 for like 30 of them. These are so durable. You can use these for travel, makeup kits or whatever. Those drawstring. One of these, these little baggies. <laughs> I didn't even work today. I'm off today because it's Martin Luther King Day. And um, you would think, because you know, after work, I, you know, I'm always tired, I can't talk. But I didn't do anything today and I'm just, I'm already tired. All right, here we go. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to use, I've picked, I've chosen yellow tissue paper. I always like to use tissue paper. 
it just makes it the whole experience as I've said in the past nicer and that you're putting that in. I love to package things I just do I'm not and not that that's what you should do if you're an eBay or Poshmark seller I'm not saying you know by all means this is what you should do this is just because I like doing this you know it's a labor of love and I it's part of the whole selling experience for me back in the day I didn't go so much as to do this but I just I enjoy doing this I really do I find it therapeutic and I think that the buyer also I think enjoys receiving her items nicely packaged like this okay the ribbon I've chosen as I said is this one and I got this at the dollar store You guys have to see how my mother's cupcake ornaments came out. They're really, they're really cute. She did good. She took it to a whole new level. Okay, so here is my bow. I'm gonna fix it. And then I will put this inside. My little thank you. And that's how it looks. So this is another way you can do it. And I found my old polymer. I think it fits inside. Okay. And then of course I put the sticker for the label and that, that will go in there. So that was this one. And I have to remember what this is because I didn't print out the label yet and I don't want to get it confused. So Cold Water Creek. Okay, for my next one, I'll be doing in purple. And I'm using the Raffia or Raffi. So this one was a J. Crew necklace. I think I got this from my thread up box. It's very beautiful. I love J. Crew jewelry. It's just so beautiful. Really pretty. And um, again, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. Put it in my plastic. I didn't get any orders for uh, clothes. So I could show you guys that, but I didn't have any recent orders for clothes. My mom has a Poshmark store as well. So she has someone who is making a bundle currently. So um, I guess we'll see if it comes to fruition. Because in Posh, Posh, why am I having trouble saying that word? Poshmark does is people make a bundle, so they go shopping in your closet and then you know, with the things that they are thinking of buying, they put in a, in a bundle. And then, you know, you could give them a discount if you want. So she currently has someone making a bundle. And it's all closed. So once they are done with that, my mom will give them a discount. And then um, I could possibly show you how she does that how she packages for clothing, because that's a little bit different than jewelry. All I have today is just like jewelry. Um, oh, and I wanted to mention, for some reason, I don't get the indicators or indications when we have comments. I just saw them before, and I'm like, why isn't my phone getting the indicators? Because I like to respond back to people. So that's why I made this video today, because I read someone's comment about seeing a few more videos on how I package. So I have to figure that out on my phone. Same thing. See, I have that other type of tissue paper that I purchased on Amazon, the acid-free, but I just figured spring is around the corner, and that's what I'd like to tell myself. And um, that's why I'm switching to the pastel tissue paper colors. And it's really, it's amazing how stores has changed things out already. It's all spring stuff. Christmas ends and they already have it changed. Okay, and I have this. And I got this whole spool for, I think it was $7 on Amazon. But yes, it is a mess. It is a mess. Actually looks better on the acid-free plain neutral 
tissue, but it's okay. Okay, and I have my earrings. And this is how that will look. Put it in my poly mailer. Okay, so this, where's my label holder? So that's Cold Order Creek. This one was J. Crew. I have to make myself because sometimes, and I'm, I do this sometimes, I send the wrong things to the wrong people. So J. Crew. And the last thing I will be shipping. It was, I got this from shopgoodwill.com. I got a bundle of coach purses and stuff, and this was in it. So I don't think I'm going to put it in this. No, I can't put it in that. I'm just going to put it in here, my plastic. So as I was saying so 12 minutes ago, the reason why I use so much um, plastic and, you know, padding and all that is because I don't use the padded envelopes because I'm not shipping priority. So... That's why I use all this, because I use the poly, poly mailers. I remembered this time. I should have some air in here. I have to let out. Although I did, at one point, I purchased poly mailers that were like metallic and pink and gold. And I had it, I purchased a lot of them, but I used them, so. Okay, I always have to remember to let the air out. And for this one, I am using pink. Okay. I'll show you guys at the end of this video my um, my mom's cupcakes. They're not ornaments anymore, <laughs> but they're cute. So today I woke up terrible, terrible migraine. I went to bed with one and woke up with one, and I've been getting them a lot lately. And everyone's saying, "Oh, it's probably the the weather." It goes from being you know 50 degrees here in New York to 20 degrees, like. And I guess that can affect the sinuses and everything, but I can't stand it. But my husband and I have decided when I can retire, I can't retire until I'm 55, so I have some years to go. Um, but we're gonna go move down south because I can't my allergies and everything and it just it would be I just I just I'm done with snow <laughs> so this is how this looks so I use the tool for this one poly mailer and this is the coach one And then, all ready for shipment. So thank you for watching. I will have a little clip of my mom's cupcake uh, ornament things that she was making. And I hope everyone has a glorious and wonderful Monday. Okay, and here are the cupcake. Let's see if I can get this. She actually used, like I said, the real, you know, over here we gotta fix that. Um, sprinkles, but they came out really nice. I have to say, my mother, she did a better job than I did. And this is how they look. And she's gonna change it up and do a couple different ones, but yeah, just like for a little display. So she starts off with gluing them and putting them into the cupcake holders and then she takes it from there, so. All right guys, thanks for watching, bye.